Hi everyone, my name is Nicole and welcome to the Week's Nest DIY. video I have five brand new Easter crafts for you that all take five minutes or less to create using Dollar Tree items. These are really fun vibrant kind of boho spring decor so let's get into it. Our first DIY is this cute boho bunny door hanging sign or just regular wall decor sign. So for this you need one of these bunny signs from the Dollar Tree, as well as some printables that I provided for you down in the description box below. So first I'm going to go in with some scrapbook paper. I picked up this fun kind of boho print pack. I got it 50% off at Hobby Lobby. I cut and trimmed it to fit right over those carrots and then I am going to glue that on. Now I am also going to layer one of the printables that I made that says Happy Easter on top of that. So I just used a glue stick for this, but what I like to do with cardstock, whether it's a printable or cardstock scrapbook paper, is add just a little bit of hot glue. You don't see any bumps, but it really reinforces this, which is important, especially if you're putting this on a front door, just so the glue stays on a little bit better. I like to do that combo. I know Easter is a little bit late this year, but let me know in the comments, when are you starting to decorate for spring or Easter? I'm definitely starting to bring out more spring light, just accents in my home since it is March and I am so over the cold. What about you? Let me know in the comments. Now I wanted to add something really cute to this. So I provided three different styles of printable glasses for the bunny totally optional. I just thought it added a nice playful touch. So for this, I'm using some Dollar Tree detailing scissors. I highly recommend these. These are sharp and they are great for cutting small projects like this. You want to get as close to the frame as possible without cutting the frame. So you do that for both of the lenses and then take a little bit of glue, not too much to glue the glasses on the bunny. And let me know, in the comments, would you do this project with the glasses or without? I thought the glasses were super cute, so I went with them. I said I wanted this to be kind of a boho bunny, so I took three pieces of some macrame cord. I always have linked down below in the description box my favorite macrame cord from Amazon, and I just did a basic braid and knotted it at the top and the bottom, nothing crazy. Um, you can also use a Dollar Tree nautical rope, yarn, lots of different options for this. So to add to this, I wanted to take a Dollar Tree floral and I'm first going to glue that on the bunny before I go ahead and add the little headband that we made. Now this does kind of cover the eyes. So I did go in with my scissors and trim this back a little bit. And then I'm going to take some hot glue to also attach this bunny headband. The original bunny sign came with a bow, so I did want to include that. So I hot glued that on and then to secure everything, we're going to flip this around. I unknotted that kind of anchor knot for this project and then I just hot glued both sets of the strands to the back and then reinforced it with a craft stick. That is my favorite way to hang things or kind of finish them. Craft sticks are such an underrated crafting item. They do so many things and I really like them to secure my projects. So let me know in the comments what you think about this boho bunny. I think this is so cute and playful and I will be putting this either on my front door or on one of the doors in my house. Not sure yet, but my girls love this. So I'm definitely going to be decorating with this probably this week. Next really easy Easter craft is keeping with that kind of fringed tassel macrame cord theme. I was so excited to find this Easter egg garland from Dollar Tree. Let me know if you found this. To me, it's very much something you would see at Hobby Lobby. I will say the eggs are 
not the greatest quality. I definitely <laughs> destroyed one of them as soon as I got home because it I bent all the eggs. So keep that in mind. But the look is the look that I wanted. So I took two strands of macrame cord. I wanted to use cord for this because I will be fraying this. And then I went ahead and just attached this with the lark's head knot. Fancy way of saying in macrame terms a securing knot. And I did this per every three of the eggs. And I probably cut about a five inch piece, six inch. I cut it short. And then once I have all of the sets of two tassels on, I'm gonna go ahead, trim those pieces, kind of eyeball it, make sure everything is even before I fray this. Now that is optional, but I feel like fraying the macrame cord really just gives it more of that boho look. And I feel like it also makes it look messy yet finished. I know that contradicts itself, but trust me, it looks cute. So to do this, I'm just taking a hairbrush. Super simple. I'm going to gently fray these tassels and that is it for this project. I feel like the finished product is definitely something I would see in like Kirkland's or Hobby Lobby. Super quick to make. This video seriously took no time at all to film and edit. I love me a quick craft and let me know what you think about this one. Next is a really easy way to dress up a existing basket or Easter basket. Dollar Tree has some fun pom-pom trim in different colors and I'm taking a Dollar Tree basket and I am just hot gluing this trim right on there. Now you could do this, like I said, to an existing basket that you have. You couldn't do this to a vase. It's just a really fun way to kind of add that spring Easter touch. I love these tassel pom-pom strand string situations. I use them also around Christmas time in the green and white. They are so fun, definitely lend to that boho look and they are a great addition to a basket that you may be decorating with or using for Easter. I was so excited to find this larger cutting board sign from Dollar Tree and I'm going to completely cover it, but I didn't like the wording. I mean, the wording and it's cute as is, I just am kind of going for less wording in my decor and more just like graphics and kind of art. Let me know if you're kind of over the mass wording and decor also. I still like it here and there, but I was just trying to keep it a little more simple. So I carefully removed that sign. You want to do this carefully so it doesn't rip. And then I provided a printable down in the description box below. Super simple, some florals with some bunny ears. And then we're going to trim this to adhere to the existing piece that was layered on that cutting board. On this channel, we love us a paper trimmer, so that is what I'm using to make sure that this is nice and trimmed. So once I have that cut, I'm just going to make sure that it fits, and then I will attach this with some glue to the sign. that printable is on, it is time to reattach this with a little bit of hot glue to that cutting board sign. I think you could do so many fun things for the different seasons with this, and I love the size of this sign. Now, I was going to go ahead and put the thumbtacks in, but I decided instead to use some of my favorite halfwood beads from Amazon. If I remember, I will link these down below. You get a whole bunch in a pack, and honestly, I feel like I've used them a ton on my channel, and I still have some left. So this kind of lends again to that more boho look that I'm going for, and that is it for this project. This is super cute for like some subtle spring kitchen decor, and I love how this turned out. Let me know what you think.
For last five minute Easter craft is this fun llama, I said fun, fun llama piece. Now this was really cute as is. I just wanted something different for the sides. So these pom-poms were not easy to remove. I cut them and then I went back and tried to remove the fuzzy base. It took me a hot minute and I will spare you. But what I decided to do instead for the trim was use this Dollar Tree wood bead garland. I love the Dollar Tree has some wood bead options lately. So some hot glue around the sides and the top. And this again just kind of adds that colorful touch this originally had. Just a little more fun, I guess. I just wasn't feeling the pom-poms. Um, yeah, so that is it for this. I hot glued it and then I just trimmed the beads and secured the bottom so that it was in place. Now I did lose the footage. I did add a little bit of that fun pink pom-pom trim to the top of this. That is it. Super cute. Honestly, if this is your style, which this is definitely mine, um, I would leave this out year round, but it definitely is fun, very spring-ish. So I hope you enjoyed it seeing me make these Easter crafts that take five minutes or less. Let me know in the comments which of these projects was your favorite. I always like to know if you have any plans on recreating any of the projects that I share. This was a fun, quick, easy video to make, which is one of my favorite types of videos to do so that you can get crafting and you don't have to spend a lot of time doing so. If you're not already subscribed, I invite you to do so and make sure you turn on that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. As always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you who spend some time with me on my channel. It means so much to me. I hope you all are doing well and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.